are you doing here? I was bringing you your mail. Barry, the bearer of brown envelopes full of life-sucking vancorous demands. I was in the neighbourhood. At 8.30am. Okay. I'll level with you. My roommate kicked me out of my apartment last week. Again? Barry! Barry, you can't stay here. Not after the last time. I'm not asking to stay here. Correct. Oh, and I'll need my spare keys back. All right. This whole thing with my roommate is a total misunderstanding. My roommate, Dennis, you remember him, right? Well, the bastard kicked me out. Get this, just because I forgot to give him a few messages about a couple of auditions. He totally overreacted. I couldn't believe it. Overreacted? Barry, he missed auditions because of you. He didn't miss them exactly. What do you mean he didn't miss them exactly? Oh, oh no, 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 oh my God, don't tell me. You didn't go in his place. I did. Oh my God, Barry. I had to. Anthony, he wasn't right for any of those roles. So, I went in his place. I can't believe you did that. You don't know him like I do. Dennis is very sensitive. I was just protecting him from rejection. Oh, so you went in his place because you're so used to rejection. Exactly. So I've had to avoid him since last Friday. I thought it's best to give him some time to calm down. To help him reconsider his feelings for me. How very considerate of you. And where are you staying in the meantime? Oh, I'm still staying there. I have to sneak in and out. He works nights at the call centre, see, so I have to go when he leaves for work and I have to be gone by the time he gets back in the morning. He doesn't even know I'm there. He is a lucky man. <clears throat> there are things between uptown and downtown that defy your philosophy, Horatio. Besides, my sneaky and deceitful ways have borne us fruit. <laughs> I just got myself a spot on the daily soap. <laughs> In your dreams. I did! Get out of here. It's true! No, no, you misunderstand. I really mean get out of here. I'm trying to get some work done. You don't believe me. No, I don't. Why not? Because your acting is worse than your lying. Excuse me. I'll have you know I played Hamlet in the park last year. You played a dead body in Hamlet. Barry. And if you think that's easy, you try emoting anger in a lifeless body with his back to the audience. There's a deaf judge when you need him most. I'll just stick to the writing and leave the glamorous stuff to you. Thank you. 